Hi everyone so today i have an amazing video with me and this is the only video that you will ever need to create realistic images with chat gpt so as we know chat gpt 4.0 image generation is extremely powerful but you need to know how to use it to get the best results out of it so let's get started i have quite a different examples for you guys and i'll give some small like tips and tricks how you can create everything realistic so firstly for this image and i have variations how you can maintain consistency and like progress uh, different scenes so let's start with this one here you can see create uh, image which obviously you can do like this right uh, after that from here the prompt starts a raw amateur phone photo on an iphone now when you write just this most of the times what happens is that sometimes you will see she is taking a photo with iphone so you can mention this though the iphone is not visible in the image that makes sure that the photo quality would be iphone style but the iphone will not be visible in this image captures a 22 year old stunning young white woman so basically you will give the description of what you want i generally like to specify one age because otherwise there will be like uh, discrepancies so one image can be of uh, someone 40 years old one can be younger than that i do not want that i want some consistency and this is a good practice so you can do this and you can provide the ethnicity and everything now you'll describe the scene casually in her passenger seat of a car Now sometimes with car it can happen is that she is sitting on the driver seat not the passenger seat but you can like generate one or two times to change it Now then she was uh, now what you will try to do is you will try to add subtle hints of what kind of like aesthetics or beauty you want she was recognized as one of the most gorgeous faces of 2023 this does two things one there is a subtle hint that she is going to be something which is like conventionally beautiful second uh because i am mentioning this photo uh, is of a 22 year old woman and then i am mentioning that uh, she was one of the most gorgeous faces of 2023 and later you uh, you'll see that this is the sn uh, snapchat story from summer 2023 there will be an understanding that this is going to be something from that time you know and the snapchat things and uh, if you know like uh, if you have seen different trends there was a trend where uh, people used apps like retrica that uh, that was overly uh, photoshopped and overly edited then there came like uh, the time of snapchat so you can specify this to be a little bit uh, more realistic because if you are giving something very latest there can be a problem that the data set would have included uh, images from ai as well so if you are trying to create an ai image which is trained on ai images so that can be problematic so this is it and then you will give like uh, look is natural minimal makeup or lipstick mascara whatever you want and uh, kind of hair expression now comes uh, you can give uh, everything about the attire you want like i have given here red spaghetti top and frilled mini skirt complemented by a diamond navel piercing so you can see these elements are pre uh, present in this image next this is very important this is actually very important the photo is taken during evening under strong sunlight resulting in harsh natural shadows slightly overexposed areas the woman appears sweaty due to hot weather adding an authentic touch to the scene and trust me this kind of like texture which has slight sweat is the main reason why this looks so realistic and i have examples without this and you will see how photoshopped and airbrushed it looks like you may not understand uh, how much it affects but when you view two images uh, together you will uh, feel the difference this is like i think one of the most important things and i'll tell uh, my analysis why i feel that when you provide something like uh, being sweaty it provides realistic skin like uh, realistic images then there is like the car interior visible you'll give uh, all the details realistic unfiltered atmosphere the image quality reflects an everyday iphone snapshot slightly shaky and unpolished with no bokeh or post processing effect very important we do not want cinematic images it feels spontaneous and genuine akin to a snapchat story from summer this again helps a lot file name image you can provide anything now you can see sometimes it will 
generate something like this sometimes it will not but trust me you can crop this but this helps a lot because it understands maybe it scraped the internet while creating the data set and these kind of uh, images like uh, names are only generated when you uh, click uh, with your phone or with uh, DSLR for, uh, cameras right so these kind of numbers are generated and it helps a lot now for consistency now the woman is sitting in the same position but someone is taking her photo from outside of the car window while she is sitting inside the glasses of windows are up so there would be some glare from sunlight otherwise there would not be any glass and some interior will be visible now you can see this is not exactly the same woman but a lot of things are actually very very similar and then again one thing you can see is that the uh, side has changed from like this side to left side but uh, then again you can like uh, either change it or prompt it once again so create uh, you can create like different images now the same scene but someone is taking the photograph from the back seat so the camera is behind her seat and uh, the I, I i did some mistake this would be photo will include the back of her seat the back of her and the front windshield dashboard traffic uh, visible from windshield so you can see and uh, you can see there are some kind of spelling mistakes but that does not uh, matter much like if you are typing fast uh, the ai is capable enough to understand what is happening so now if you have seen this particular image you can see so if someone is sitting on the back side this would be something that they would capture and again consistency pretty good right now let's come to something else again uh, there is something that i mentioned about uh, why if you mention sweat it creates realistic images and i'll show one other example as well so now look at this image create a uh, image and after that a raw amateur phone photo of 22 year gorgeous white woman and you can see then there is like white chiffon sari and uh, shot on iphone and uh, then everything is there and after that i have provided the background of museum near glass window giving a professional environment uh, during evening under strong sunlight resulting in harsh natural shadows and slightly overexposed areas now after this i generally mentioned that because of uh, the sunlight or the heat uh, she is sweating or something like that i have not given this the image quality reflects an everyday iphone everything else is same now i just want you to see you'll see this particular image looks airbrushed the skin is slightly more soft it is a very good image and very clean image and if you are creating something like fashion photography you would probably want something like this but uh, and that is most of the reasons why i think these kind of images are being generated but then again uh, this has a slightly like uh, airbrushed uh, skin texture but when you have something very similar you can see but i have added the woman appears sweaty due to hot weather adding an authentic touch to the scene because of the sweat her sari and blouse will also have uneven damp patches creating a realistic and unfiltered atmosphere see so this is actually the thing which is giving this so much character just look at both of these and you can understand the difference between the skin and my analysis why this happens is because uh, before the ai era right you would see everyone was trying to airbrush uh, their images due to some reason and it was like uh, it was considered good in terms of aesthetics so they were trying to photoshop the images they were trying to like uh, create very smooth skin there were also filters in the apps which smoothened the skin but the problem became that when we see women around us right they are very normal they like uh, they would sweat their skins will have some kind of like uh, it can be pimples it can be pores things like that and when we uh, now we know that ai exists anything that we see does not w match with our uh, mentality or our surrounding of how we see women naturally we feel like that is uh, ai generated because now we do not think that that is a real woman but if you see this image you would not think that this is a real woman but she has used photoshop the first thing that comes to our mind is this is ai generated because ai has bombarded our minds so much so now to create something that our 
brain feels that this is completely realistic we need to prompt something that we see uh, in our everyday lives so this is most of my analysis of why i feel like uh, this happens now let's take one other example and this one has a lot of different things so the photo shows uh, and again like i have mentioned all of different things uh, the outfit is there one thing uh, which i have seen is that for some reason uh, like uh, if you don't put this like uh, it is the ai kind of like uh, has a tendency to create uh, slightly flatter women and i don't know maybe because uh, this was of the data set or what or not and the thing is because we are using this for fashion we are using this for many different things we would want women with different body shapes and sizes and we should know that uh, how we can prompt that to get what we want so i'll uh, mention one thing here you can see i have uh, mentioned she has a big bust and slim waist and why these two things are important to put together i'll also mention in my last example but this is something which will uh, like force the ai to create something that uh, probably would be with uh, helpful with our use case and then again there is the like the complete uh, description of the pose uh, the photo is taken around midday under window lighting and here again you can see that uh, i have not put anything related to being sweaty or something like that and this is the thing this looks very good uh, the skin looks photoshopped the skin looks slightly airbrushed this is probably something you would want if you are creating something for your fashion uh, like fashion photographs if you want to change the outfits for your brands and stuff like that so uh, this is something that you would want but again now you can see i have uh, kept a lot of different things uh, same but here i have given like uh, I have actually mentioned here you can see she sweated due to hot weather and now instantly you can see how much the skin looks realistic if you compare with this so this is one of the things to add a little bit of realism and again now the photo from the back angle as she is walking you will see it is somewhat similar street and she is walking there is consistency and you can select that as well now the thing about the body shapes let's come to the last example and i'll mention what is happening here so let's go to this one here you can see i have mentioned generate an image of amanda myers 22 year old white actress and hollywood sweetheart these things just uh, give very subtle hints about how they would look and there is a tendency of hollywood uh, actresses to look conventionally good so it kind of adds those things you know this is not a real person this is a made up name but it helps to uh, provide some form of consistency and other than that you can see uh, there is a tattoo and then while it's raining heavily and everything is doused in rain water so this is also important then the water will interact with the hair and everything and here you can see the certain body shape right and this is the default kind of shape that body shape that uh, chat gpt tends to create and you may not want that based on your use case for fashion or scene or whatever you may want to create ai videos you would not uh, you may not want that right so here you see everything else is same but then i have mentioned she has medium sized bust and the problem here is the for some reason it kind of increases the size of women in totality you cannot completely shape uh, the body right what you want because uh, we may want exact things because if you are uh, going to like put some your own brand clothes or stuff like that you may want certain body shapes to represent or certain not like that is up to you i am not there to judge anything right and that is why you have to mention she has medium sized bust and slim waist so now you can see it kind of changed uh, the color of the outfit but then again like the tattoo is there consistently and now you can see that the waist and the bust these are in proportion otherwise it tends to create like slightly bigger women in general so this was it if you find any of these uh, like helpful and if you have any kind of doubt or questions put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you